discuss tonight on Channel Style, which let's bring the discussion back home. Uh, it's not sweet. Let's go to Ondo State. Uh, staff of the Ondo State Football Agency, uh, they have staged a peaceful protest after uh, over the non-payment of their 20, 20 month salary. 20. Goodness. The agency is the body in charge of Nigeria's professional football league site, Sunshine Stars a Football Club. Uh, the workers carried placards of various, with various inscriptions indicating their demands from the government. And meanwhile, the state government uh, has given the assurance that the issues raised by the workers will be addressed. It's the same old story to you. Same old story with Sunshine Stars and all those state football. It's, it's a shame, really. Um, things keep going bad. For sunshine stars and at this rate people in our career are rightly so too scared that sunshine stars might even get relegated this season for a lot of things going on you know on the net that is not even out yet and this is one of them this from what i heard from sources in our who i spoke to earlier revealed to me that it has been a case of previous administrations and this current administration as far back as Akimbo Bola, down to John Olamafu, uh, down to ja uh, Dakpo Ajibade, and now Bunga Elegbele. Ele Look, they have been owing. A couple of months ago, it was revealed that Oldsma had as much as 600 employees. Wow. How do you cater for 600 employees? A lot of them apparently are ghost workers. And they felt, I remember that before Governor Mimiko left, office, he said he had cleared every debt he owed Otspa. Mm. And the government books, it was obvious, it was really clear. But the money didn't get to Otspa because there were 600 employees. Now, they pruned and pruned and got it reduced about 300. Wow. How can you pay the salaries of mm. 300 staff and not owe them? How can you cater for Tolu a football club 20. and not owe them? Tolu 20, 20 months. months is a whole lot. 20. It's a whole lot. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's undone. I, I, I can't even, Some of them actually claim that some, some staff have died. It's almost two years. Almost two years. You know what? It's, um, it's, it's horrible. The, the other day we spoke to Duke Udi on the show and he also complained um, about he said unpaid, still being owed unpaid salaries and all of that, which, which the state government um, turned down. But let's go to our career and then get talking points from, uh, from this protest. The government has been promising they will pay. We had made all transactions and they are quite aware. The book is with them. We want them to implement it so that our workers can survive. Many of them have died. Many of them have lost their marriages. Their marriages have broken up. So we are in disarray and we are, we are dying. We are hungry. So we beg government. We pray that Arakuni should please see to our matter and please help us with the 20-month salary so that we can live. When we came on ground as government, we met a total debt of 400 million naira, only by last administration. And as a responsible government, we are aware of the fact that government is continuous, both asset and liability, and government has been taking steps. Apart from the 400 million naira, even sign-off fee, owing by, by owing the past players, 2000 and 4015 is 112 million naira. And apart from the litigations on ground, that we are battling with LMC down close to 50 million naira, which I have signed a positive check to pay, it has been on daily basis like this, resolving issues that we inherited. And the unfortunate thing is, some of these players get their salary increased immediately the last administration lost election. And it's like setting trap for the coming administration. But we are up to the task. We will do everything humanly possible to ensure that they get paid. And I've told them, they've complained about so many things, ranklings and uh, a lot of things that is happening in Nospa. And I said, it's, it's an agency I should pretend as Commissioner for Youth and Sport. I will locate my office to Nospa from Monday. And I'll be there listening to them and see how we can solve the internal crisis and get the attention of Mr. Governor. That's it, uh, Commissioner for Youth and Sports in Ondo State, Saka uh, Ogunle. Totally he spoke well, it was reassuring, but that's not what these workers want to hear because they you have families to take care of. It has done a lot of damage. They have families to take care of. Uh, they have kids to send to school. Mm. They have um, basic needs daily. They need to eat, they need to go back to work, they need to resume at work. I mean, 
how do they even work properly when they don't even the get professional paid? Professional players how do you, how do you go a whole year? of sunshine stars. How do you go a whole year without getting paid? Mm. I mean, it's. I do not want to say it's no, no, word, but for lack of the proper words to use, you struggle. You struggle. You struggle to get the words. That's what we've been saying, and that's why um, we've said it a lot of times. And we'll say it again tonight that the league management company, uh, because that's the concerns football and sports uh, is big business. The league management company should insist, should insist that teams that cannot, that don't have what it takes to operate as a professional club, no problem, just step aside. Just step aside, let's do things the right way. The draw from the CAF Confederation Cup. Let's uh, refresh your memories once again. I'll go back to it. It was done yesterday in Cairo and um, Pretty tough, yeah. I was going to say tricky, but it's pretty tough for our Nigerian teams at the CAF Confederation Cup. Let me just uh, run through it again. Uh, but so let me bring you in the North Africans that are still there. Al Hilal for Aqua United. Al Hilal comes with so much experience in the continental competition. One of the biggest teams in Africa in terms of uh, revenue, hmm. fan base. Yeah, and against a certain Aqua United who have underperformed so far on the continent the testimonies or reports rather from uh, games the last game against Aliti had in Uyo <laughs> were just you know scary disheartening that the uh, Aliti had side got, had two goals perhaps wrongly disallowed before Aqua even went on to then score mm. what looked like uh, uh, the aggregate tie and then they went on to win on Penalty. penalties but then, Aqua United need to step up. They have mm. a very fantastic team with yeah. a brilliant coach, one of the best coaches in the country. I agree. They should be doing better than they are mm -hmm. currently doing. At mm -hmm. the moment, they are underperforming, and they can't continue like this. Yeah. Against Al-Hilal, Omdurman, they will, mm. they, if they do not do what they have to do here in Uyo, if they do not win convincingly here in Uyo, I doubt their chances of progressing, because once you get to Sudan, it's tougher. It is wow. very tough. Rivers United is, an, is, a, is a prime mm -hmm. example, not mm -hmm. too long ago. And if we're worried about Ali Hal, <laughs> USM Algiers. <laughs> USM Algiers <laughs> comes with so much experience and played three United. We will not forget what happened with Trout Desire, but hopefully there must be lessons for them from that one that they can use to play USM Algiers. Yes, and um, I think they've learned their lesson. And it hurts, really. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, capitulating the way they did against Etoile du Sahel In 10 minutes. cost them the time. Mm -hmm. And it cost them huge money and the Champions League spot. And they have seen how difficult it really is to overturn a two-goal deficit. Mm -hmm. Now, they have to go back to what they did right in the very first round against the Cameroonian side. And look at what they did right again in the second half against Etoile du Sahel and yeah. the 90 again against uh in in Kano and then work on that make sure they do not capitulate that way again look it's an advantage that they'll be playing at home first yeah kill their chances let us see the way MCA all just did it mm. win nine nil win yeah. six zero if you can yeah. pump in as many goals as mm. possible just make sure mm. you kill the chances of your opponents before the second very game. important so beat vest of south africa we will take on Aimba football club of Aba, while MFN will take on Joliba of um, Mali. So that's the draw at Tolu. I must say thank you so much for stopping by. Always a pleasure to be here. Always a delight to have you on the show. And of course, you, wherever you are in the world, talking sports with us right here at Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Keep talking to us on Twitter, Channels underscore Sports, Facebook, Channels IFN Sports. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin Okonakman. We'll be back again tomorrow. Yes, we'll be back to talk some more sports. But until then, in everything you do, remember, Let's keep talking sports by for now.